Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Amy if you've never been here before. And um, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I didn't really have any green, so I wore like tealish green. <laughs> um, okay, so today I have a Scentsy um, club. A couple things. One, I also have another order that's supposed to be arriving today. It's 547, just turned 547. It says it's gonna make it. I don't know if it is or not. I thought about waiting and then I could combine them. But then I'm like, if it doesn't, I have the time now that I just wasted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and then I'll figure that out later. Um, that was just like a, war a mini warmer and three um, wax bars that I got. Okay, so about this club. One thing that isn't in here is flower shop. Um, I guess they're gonna send that separate and then I did have an issue so I thought that I had scary good in my club and in the last I think Cincy video I did I said that I was gonna delete that out of my club because I didn't like it turns out I didn't have scary good I had give me candy and I was just I guess scrolling down and saw orange and just deleted it so I'm a little bummed about that because I really wanted to try Give Me Candy. And then, of course, it was too late to add it back in. But it, it is what it is. So if it comes back, if that comes back in the fall, um, I will pick that up. So instead of getting the um, the cotton rounds or whatever, or not cotton rounds, but the big cotton ball things, for my half price item, I, I went with a brick this time. And so this is skinny dipping. I don't think I have smelled this since like 2009 maybe um I know I melted it back then so let's smell it again let's see here oh I can already kind of smell it oh yeah that smells so good okay so I was gonna get a different one and then I was like you know what this is a lot of wax and what if I get something that I don't like so I just went with this played it safe so there's that I'm gonna try not to shake the table. Okay, so some stuff I had in my last club I took out, some stuff I kept, new stuff, you know how it goes. So let's see, the first thing here is Mountain Sunset and I'm excited because so far, all the reviews I've seen on this, everybody loves it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna grab, oh, I wish I could pause this. I'm gonna grab a book really fast. All right, so that way I can have notes. And I thought about, I had a book from the fall and I'm like, I should have kept that and I could have used that for notes. Um, Cause I had a party last September. I actually thought about asking my consultant to see if she still has a fall book just to have on hand for some of the scents I have. But anyway, okay, so Mountain Sunset is, it says, take in the view over wild bluebell and warm woods as coconut and golden amber fill the air. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> oh, this this is good, but mm, this smells like a Bath and Body Works dupe. I feel like is it like Twilight Woods? Does this smell like Twilight Woods? Hmm, I haven't had Twilight Woods in a while. If it's not Twilight Woods, it's something similar, but I'm going with, I think there was two. What was it? It was Twilight Woods and, mm, this is okay. Uh, not staying in my club, but there's that. Um, everyone else seems to, seems to love it, but it's not anything special for me. And maybe it's because I've worn Twilight Woods before, like it's okay. I don't know. That's what that reminds me of. Okay, let's see. All right, we have Fairy Tale Pumpkin, so I don't have the notes on this one because I don't have Last Fall's catalog. So this I actually smelled at like a vendor site, like Stan once, and knew that I wanted to add this. Oh, I like this. Yes, this is good. I don't think that a lot of people like this one, maybe. I think I've heard that, like seems like a common thing in um, reviews, but to me, I like that. I don't know if that's wind or my daughter coming in. 
Okay, let's see. It looks like I got a lot of purple ones. Okay, we have a Dancing Sugar Plums. I'm gonna assume this one probably isn't in here. Mmm, this is, hmm, is that kind of spicy? I don't know if I like this. Like, it's like I want to like it because I like plum, but I'm not a big spicy person. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll see how this one is on warm. This one I possibly could like, but yeah. So there's that one. We'll just grab another purple one. All right, Kikui and Coconut. And this is supposed to be the, um, the Boom Boom or the Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Mm -hmm. And I also have some K-scented wax dupes of that. Let's get it out of there. It almost smells maybe lighter, but I like that. This one is definitely gonna stay in my club. Oh, here, and I think I have the notes on this one. Let me see here. Okay, I'm not, let's see. Okay, so Kikui and Coconut is Tropical Coconut and Kikui Nut Lounge on a Bed of Soft Jasmine. I do really like some jasmine. Which is funny because Boom Boom is like pistachio, caramel, stuff like that. And van vanilla, I think. I can't talk. All right, let's see here. Ooh, Sugar Blossom. This one I'm excited about. I've heard multiple times that this is a dupe for Black Opium's. Or I mean, YSL's Black Opium. Let's see. I don't get that. I think this is the one that they said that. No, I do not. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, the, hmm. Hmm, I don't know. This does smell perfumey to me. I don't get black opium. I don't know. I'm going to have to warm that one and see, but I feel like I get more of like definitely a floral, but like black opium is, you know, like coffee and vanilla and like real deep scents. This I feel like is more like flowery with, it has, it does have like a deeper undertone maybe. Okay, let's see what the notes are on this one. Okay. okay, so it says sugar dipped golden blossoms adore. Let's see, sorry, where was I at? Adorn a shimmering fusion of sugared citrus and vanilla. So there's a citrus in here. Oh, I bet it makes me think that. It's not a full on like orange citrus, but maybe it's like an orange blossom, which would be like the flower part. Hmm. Yeah, so I almost bet, I don't know, maybe orange blossom, vanilla. I don't know, we'll see. But I do like this one. I will probably keep this one in my club. Okay, let's see here. Of course, I got my two Hocus Pocus, Perfectly Wicked. These are my favorite, and these are 100% black. Um, Tom Ford black or Tom Ford cherry. <laughs> oh my gosh! So I'm thinking Village Cherry Delight, Lost Cherry. Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Yeah, these smell good. My favorite. Definitely staying in the club. Okay. Let's see what else do we have? Ooh, a Bonfire Beach. I love this one. So I've never had this in wax. I've only ever had it in, I think 2018, like I bought a whole bunch of um, the car car or the car air fresheners. I think it was like leaving Scentsy back then. Yeah, this is a real good one. Let's smell the bottom of this one. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, that's definitely staying in there. Okay, and then we have a caramel apple craze. This, of course, is staying in there. I like, well, I think, you know, I don't know, because I do have, mm, I have a bunch of, like, Aldi ones that smell like this, and then I have 
um, you know, like a little candle and stuff. So I don't know. I might just, if this comes, I'll probably keep it in there. And then if it comes back in the fall, I'll take it out for a little bit and then figure it out. I do kind of like the autumn, the autumn one I have, the autumn days. I think I took it back out, but if it comes back, I think I'm going to add that one back. And then here we have caramel chestnut. And this is good. I think I'm definitely going to keep this in here. This was, I think, new last fall. So, yeah. I did take out the cherry, the maraschino um, uh, cherokee cherry or whatever. That one I took out. If it comes back this fall, I think I'm going to add that one back into the club. Because I had a bunch of cherry scents, but now I'm worried that one's not going to come back. And then I'm going to have regretted that. So, yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh, I, okay. Ooh, ooh, I got two of these. And this is, you know, a um, Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. It's the uh, Starburst Sky. So I have this in scent pods, and I really liked it. And um, this one, okay, okay, let me just smell it. Oh, yes, I love this. Love, love, love. This is staying in my club. Two bars staying in there. I do have see I do see how people could get like that cigarette note, but I don't mind it. I get the berries and everything else. I just love it. Mm, yeah. So um, I I think it almost smells like more berry like in the um, the pods than in the wax. Oh man. Okay, Sensi. I don't know that you'll ever watch my videos, but if you do, I would love to have this in. Um, the washer whiffs. I would love my clothes to smell like that. Like, yes, I want this in like the laundry care. I don't even really use the laundry care except for the washer whiffs, but if you brought it in laundry care, I'd probably buy it, all of it. Yes, 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 100%. I would stock up on that. So that, that's probably like, let's see. Apparently, you know, I'm all about the perfumes. Oh, I still love my Tom Ford. Okay, let's see. I don't think I would want, oops, this in laundry because I think that would be too much. I'd stick with this with the perfume, but this is light enough that I could handle this in laundry. Yeah, I still think this is my number one so far. But anyway, these are really good. Super, super good. Okay, let's see, another one. Let's see what's this. Oh, around the campfire. I, I will definitely keep this one in here. Yep, that's a nice, good smoky one. Love that. You have to like smoky stuff in order to like that. And I really wanted to try this one. So this is the, you know what, I'm gonna get all of these out. Let's see. Oh, I really wanna try that one too. I'm getting excited. Oh, okay. All right, so I have a candy cane buttercream here. Let's see. Oh, this is good. Um, I don't really like a lot of pepperminty scents. My daughter does, so she wants stuff in her room, but um, this is light and this smells like, this is weird because it's almost like, it's like a sugar cookie. Is there sugar? Okay. So I guess the buttercream part, it's almost like a sugar cookie that has crumbled, uh, peppermint pieces like stuck in it. So when you bite into it, you're mostly getting, you know, the, um, like that one cookie, those real gooey ones. It's like ooey gooey butter cookie with like chunks of peppermint like stuck in it. That's what this smells like. That's really good. This makes me want like this with some hot chocolate. Yeah, mm, I like that one. I think I'm going to keep that one in there for a little bit. And of course, I don't have the notes for that. Oh, and the Starburst Sky because I do have the notes to that one are... If I can find it. Oh, wait, maybe. Um, actually, I don't think I do because the Starburst Sky was a Valentine's special. So I do not have the notes for that because I think this is just the spring catalog, I think. Okay, so we have caramel buttercream. And this, I think, was from the fall, too. Oh, this is actually pretty good, too. This smells... Wait a minute, do I have two of these? Because, wait a minute... Oh no, I have caramel chestnut. So let's see the difference of these two. I'll show you what they look like. Caramel buttercream and then caramel chestnut. Oh, this is nuttier, I think. Like, what do you... 
Oh yeah, okay, this actually does smell kind of like toffee, like a candy. So the buttercream, caramel buttercream is kind of like candy. And then the caramel chestnut, I guess is more woody or more. Okay, so yeah, they're different. And then, oh, that's good, that's all good. This just makes me think of like, I just want hot chocolate with it, that's so weird. Okay, anyway, enough about that. All right, so I'm really excited about this one. So here's my chocolate with my peppermint here. So Mocha Doodle, and this I think is in the catalog. So let's, actually I'm gonna smell it and then I'm gonna look up the notes. Mm, I feel like almost after smelling those caramel ones, I'm struggling here. Let's see. Um, I do get the chocolatiness. Hmm. Okay, let me find the notes on this really fast. Let's see. Mocha Doodle. Okay, so Mocha Doodle is delicious roasted coffee beans and cocoa balanced with sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. Um, it's all right. It's, you know, it. I don't know. It's good. I'll probably keep it in there. It smells like something I've ate before. It almost sounds like somebody just left something on my porch. I'm gonna look here in a second and see if I got my other package. That would be awesome. Except for I'd have to let you guys hang here a second. Okay, and then the last one is just an Amazon Rain. Oh, this is so good though. This is like perfumey. Um, like the first time I had club, I put it in, or no. One of the orders. I don't know. One of the times I put it in, took it out, and I was like, I don't need it. And then I smelled it again at a vendor's thing. I'm like, I'm just going to throw that back in my club. So, yeah, that's really good. I'm going to leave that one in there. That's a really, really good one. And let me see if I have the notes on this one. I think so. Okay, here we go. Amazon Rain. So there's that. Um, set off on a rainforest romp swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. There's that jasmine again. Oh yeah, that's really good. Okay, I'm gonna peek out the window really fast and just see if I get a package. Oh, except for I can't see. Okay, I can't see, I don't know. I guess if I did, I'll figure it out. So anyway, that is my second Scentsy Club. Again, I was missing the, the flower shop, I think. Yes, flower shop. So yeah. I'll just smell that when it gets here. And um, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great night.